I play Erica Evans, FBI agent and mother extraordinaire, except not really because she's not doing a very good job. I am here for you when you're here. The V's have landed and she's a little terrified and ever so slightly skeptical that they might be bad. And then they turn out to be, um, you know, human killing lizards. Her closest friend, her closest uh, confidant is a V. Because the person who was the closest to her turned out to be bad, she doesn't trust anyone. I don't know who to trust anymore. She knows they're here for a very bad reason, but everyone wants to believe them because they bring uh, happiness and supposedly peace and all kinds of really great stuff. They call it spreading hope. Tyler Evans is uh, the son of Erica Evans. Mom? Tyler? I think he always has a feeling that things are off at home. Things aren't really right. What's going on with you? The character I play, Chad Decker, is a news journalist, and he's um, kind of an up-and-coming news anchor. He's been successful, but he's not really achieved the level of success that he wants. You pitch Freddie my idea. And so he winds up posi positioning himself to score the first worldwide live interview with the leader of the alien population. Thanks again for choosing me to do this. I'm really excited. So are we. What we saw in the first batch of episodes was Chad Decker as newsman and as ambitious human being. Is there such a thing as an ugly visitor? Trying to figure out where the opportunity in this life-changing event was for him. This interview would elevate your career, wouldn't it, Mr. Decker? Don't you want to elevate your career? You know, a lot of people call Anna evil, and I really resent that. Unless the guilty party steps forward to take responsibility, I'm going to need to choose one of you to set an example. I think that Anna is somebody who is um, very ambitious. Monitor them, and if necessary, shape those opinions within your territories. And she's really adamant about the survival of her people. I want him. She befriends Chad Decker because she believes that he can help her reach humans and, and have her be in a, seen in a positive way. I swear I'll be fair. You'll need to be more than fair if you want to proceed. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I play Father Jack Landry. Uh, he's a priest, Catholic priest, that is trying to make a difference in, in, a, in a part of the city that's not um, economically sound. Good morning, Roy. He's seeing a lot of his congregation look towards the V's for answers, and, and it's not, they're not looking for God, and it's, it's very complexing and, and disturbing to him. It's something we all need to think about. They offer some sort of guidance. The past is gone. The V's are the new idea the great new uh, philosophy that humans can follow. We call it bliss. Tyler's just a kid who gets enthralled in this new ideology. Peace Ambassador Program. Yeah, you sign up, hang out with V's, learn about our culture. The Peace Ambassadors are a group that the V's have kind of put together. Um, they want to make sure that they come across as peaceful. We are they have to recruit humans to become a part of the group and to spread the word with them so that the humans don't fear the unknown. She kind of narrows in on Tyler to best represent the humans and thinks he's a little maybe easy to manipulate and that's why she chose him and she's working her magic on him for whatever reason. You even get a uniform. Traitor is a, a, a harsh word for Ryan. He is a defector. Erica, you and I want the same thing. I'm kind of in the middle of a dilemma because uh, my character is actually an alien. And I was sent down here on Earth uh, decades ago to gather information to send back up to the bees. But since I've been on Earth, I've been part of a resistance um, called the Fifth Column that, uh, that is going against the bees. We can win this. Anna has very little tolerance for the, the rebels, the fifth column. We can't afford any kind of dissonance among our people. She skins one of them. <laughs> but she's not evil, really. The innocent will suffer. What is established in the, the last episode that aired was Father Jack had a military past. Now it's we're forming the resistance. There's Georgie, Ryan, Erica, and Father Jack, and we're trying to figure out what we can do to stop whatever Anna and the rest of the bees are trying to do. It made a difference tonight. When we left Chad Decker in the, in the fourth hour, he had been doing uh, an expose on these visitor healing centers. Okay, I'm all set. During his report, they do this sort of routine scan on him, and he's told by Marcus 
that he's sick. In approximately six months, you will develop a bachelor artery aneurysm. At the end of the fourth episode, we find out that Anna has a daughter. You're doing an excellent job. I'm proud of you. Lisa's really at this point just um, almost like a soldier following out orders and she's just doing what she's told. Bring him up to the ship. Tell him I want to meet him. You find out that she's got big plans for her and for Tyler, and you don't know what those plans are quite yet, but it's a little creepy. I'd like to take some time to get to know Tyler. After the first four episodes, um, basically my fiance, who is human, I discovered that she's pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm really not sure how that can be, because when I came down on Earth, they told me that we couldn't procreate with humans. We're going to have a baby. <laughs> Here I, I go back to the church at the end of the, the fourth episode, and here's a man that comes to the church who's in need. <laughs> Father Jack is stabbed. At the very end of the fourth episode, Erica Evans comes home and finds the computer flashing and Brandon saying, um, have a great time on the ship. Invited to the V's ship. So she knows Tyler's with the V's. That yeah, must be awesome seeing space from one of these ships. What you've seen today, Tyler, only the beginning. <laughs>